Hello my loves, today I'm back with a updated iPhone video. I wanted today to really take the time to talk to you guys about how the iPhone X has been for me and everything like that because now that we are basically a year in and the iPhone XS or XS or whatever iPhone 11 is going to be called in less than two weeks of the announcement, um, I really wanted to just give an update as to how this phone has been for me and if I will be getting the new one and everything like that. Um, I have been holding off to do this video for a while. I really wanted to do like a six month one that I felt like even then I was still not grasping every single aspect of the phone and now I think that I have everything laid out and as to what I want to say and how the phone really has been for me um, and now the new one's coming out and I did actually look at the new like concepts and like the rumors and stuff like that and it didn't seem that everything or the whole designer or anything like that was that different so um, I mean I probably will end up getting it but I don't know because honestly for the first time ever this iPhone has felt brand new to me ever since I have gotten it I haven't gotten bored of it yet and this is like the first time it's ever been for me because I've had the iPhone since like 3G since the beginning and I know the first one is 2G but basically since the beginning the 3G and I have had every single phone up to now since then and I feel like I've always gotten bored after a few months and I've always wanted a new one after you know a, um, a year and for once this time I don't want a new phone so does that kind of like change my mind of getting a new one kind of but at the same time I don't know. So the first thing I want to say is the whole design and the whole size and I feel like I've talked about this before but the size and the design is just perfect for me. I have never found a phone that fits perfectly to my hand like this and I just feel like when I'm in bed or when I'm holding it like this or when I'm holding it like you know anything like that it's just amazing and it fits perfectly in my hand because even though the 7s I mean the 7 plus and the 8 plus were like perfectly like probably one of my favorite sizes because it's so big even though the screen is bigger it still feels just smaller and it just because it is smaller but like the phone itself is just really feels really good to hold you know it feels like a real phone it doesn't feel like an iPad to hold because that's what it felt like when I had the 7 plus and the 8 plus because the phone itself is already big and then imagine putting like a case on it it was huge so I need a burp really really glad that the size is like this um right now i want to give you guys what i have i have a, a privacy screen protector on it so privacy screen protector means that when you put your eyes or i mean the screen to the side you can't see anything see you can see it from the front but when i turn it you won't be able to see anything and that's just for people who want to look at my phone screen all the time because people always be creeping on your phone even when you don't know girl so keep uh, privacy screen protector on um, I didn't always have it I had it in the beginning and then I took it off because it broke and then I got a new one recently and I've just like been loving it you know so I can be shady you know <laughs> but yeah I love it so much so yeah just the basic functions and everything that I've been using in the phone um, obviously you guys already know what's on my phone because you have seen um, the layout and stuff like that from what's in my iPhone video and I just recently posted a updated of what's in my iPhone video so go check that out if you haven't yet um, but yeah I mean I feel like now I definitely did not like iOS 11 when it first came out just because it was so so buggy and I was always thinking like why would iOS or Apple release something like this when they know it's definitely not streamlined enough or not perfect enough and I just did not understand it for so long it was so so buggy so I'm really glad that finally I feel like most of the bugs have been fixed and it's not as laggy anymore so I'm super glad about that um, as for the only thing that I don't always like is the face ID so the face ID is annoying when you're in bed and it's dark and you have like your hair all up and whatnot because honestly we don't always look the same all the time right like when I go to bed I look like a crazy monster so my phone's like who is this monster like it does not detect me and on top of that when I'm um, on my computer studying working the the my phone would be like laid flat on the computer like this and then before when you had touch ID why is my camera not focusing hello before when I had the uh, my phone laid on the table like this I would just be able to like put my finger on it and then just touch I uh, touch ID would just go straight in and then I can use my phone like this but now I would have to go like and like look at the table like this and it was it's so annoying and it still is annoying I still have not gotten used to that so that is definitely something that I don't like so what have uh, what they could make better maybe they could have had like the touch ID in the back or maybe they could have had a touch ID on the side who knows I think that not uh, I think that taking away something and then not replacing it with something better sucks. If you want to do that, then just leave 
the thing that has been amazing for so long and then just add a different feature i don't know but apple is so innovative obviously they're just going to take away things that they think we don't need and then they don't always replace it with something better so that's something i don't like because headphone jack okay fine take it away but oh my gosh i was on a plane and then i needed to charge my phone but i also needed to listen to music so i couldn't even do that i had to literally wait for my phone to charge and i was just sitting down on the plane like looking like looking at my phone like charging it charging it until it got to 20 percent and then i'd unplug it and then charge my freaking headphones in so that i can listen to music and i did that for i think five hours like straight like just going back and forth and that was not fun at all so um i know i could get got wireless headphones but i didn't have wireless headphones on the i was on the plane but that's a lesson learned for sure like i think the next time i travel i will definitely be getting the ear pods or just like beats or something like that um you, maybe you guys can recommend me what type of headphones you headphones you guys have or i don't know but yeah, that was not fun at all. Just like having to wait for your phone to charge and then not being able to listen to music and then listening to music and then not being able to charge your phone. Yeah, not fun. Um, what else do I like about it? I like that the camera is good, but I don't like it when the camera shoots at nighttime. So when you're taking... So if you have an iPhone X, please try this for me. Please take a photo of your... Um, of yourself or somebody and their eyes will be completely red-eyed from this camera. And I... I know this for a fact that it's, I don't know if it's iOS or it's like the iPhone, but the iPhone X camera does that. I don't know why. Yes, the iPhone 10 camera is exceptionally like clear as heck. Like everything is so crisp. I love that so much. But at the same time, when you are taking a photo in flash at night, the this will like make all of your friends' eyes and yourself like a red eye and you can't fix it always like I can't always go into photo editing apps and be fixing everyone's eyes like it doesn't always work so or detect it so now I barely ever use this taking photos at night I only use it for the daytime and then I have my other phone for at nighttime which is a 7 um, which is a 7 so really really annoying that I have to carry another phone just to take photos at nighttime because this one doesn't like to take photos at nighttime for me unless it's a iOS like update I hope that they'll fix it at iOS 12 if they notice it I really really hope so and I really hope I'm not the only one that has that defect or defect on this phone because if it is I will be really sad and I'll be literally have to get another iPhone but if you guys have the same problems can you guys let me know what you guys would do to fix it like should I bring it to Apple and let them know I don't know but yeah, I just wanted to do a quick update. Um, so far, you know, it's been a year in. I love it so much. And if I was, if the new iPhone was not coming out in two weeks, I would totally, absolutely keep this. Like, nothing is wrong with it. It's completely brand new still. Everything's fine. Like, I have the case on it right now. But if I show you guys, like, it's really, like, not scuffed at all. Like, it's barely, it's like little scratches here and there, you know, like a normal iPhone. But honestly, it's amazing. And I have no complaints with it at all like it hasn't cracked on me i dropped it like a million times and it's glass so i thought that i would have broken this by now because i am so so clumsy but i think that it's been really really good so far so i'm really happy with it i especially again i love the size and i feel like when we have a phone it's for convenience for us to be comfortable and be able to you know do things at our fingertips and do things guys if this my camera is just gonna keep like uh, not focus on myself like i'm just gonna <sighs> Anyways, I'm so over this video because the, my camera is like acting up and I need to fix it. Yeah, I would say if you haven't had the iPhone 10 yet and you're still debating to get it, I would say get it because, um, or get it when the new iPhone comes out because this will be cheaper. That's a good way to get things when the new things come out. The older one gets cheaper and it's not even that old. Just because it's new doesn't mean it's always better. So I would definitely say get it if you are thinking about it. And yeah, I'm in love with this phone. Probably the best iPhone I've ever had yet and the best design. I was not a fan of it design in the beginning, but now I am and I love it so much. And I'm it's my daily baby, it's my baby. So yeah, that's all I really had to say about this phone. Um, all in all, everything has been great, other than just the camera being like a uh, annoying at nighttime it doesn't like to take nice photos but if you guys have any um thing to fix or let me know anything like that um and then yeah i mean the new apple event is going to come out soon and then it's going to announce like the new iphone stuff so i'll be back to talk about that as well so stay tuned for the next video and i'll talk to you guys really really soon thank you for watching bye Mwah. okay baby if you're used to it and i know that you're a grown man